<laughs> You're stupid. Maybe you love you. <laughs> People are going to be like, <laughs> she's attacking him. <gasps> oh. I knew it. Whatever. I'm the abused one. Are you starting at that so you could turn it one day? Yeah, so I can turn it. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Give it to somebody that can turn something. Mm. Turn it? I'm not going to turn it. We're live, so you're all up in my area. You're up in my space. Okay, stop. God. What's up, y'all? It's two o'clock Tuesday, if you forgot. NWA, what's up? Oh, yeah, we need to. Yeah, it's fun. Are you going to use that today? I'm going to go ahead and add it into our this. No, oh, okay. I don't think so. Then I'll wait. What's up, y'all? JJ, what's happening? My bubble beans. My baby bubble beans. Rumple, swamp, clear. Gale. Heidi. Gypsy J. That's a new name. What's your last name? It says Mrs. Everyone. Is it, are you you've is it, are you, have you changed your name from something other than what we would remember? Well, that's good that you have the day off. Yeah, I know that's the face. Awesome. Look at his little fuzzy face. Fuzzy face. Ooh, he looks <laughs> silly. <laughs> no, like <right>. bedhead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moose, lay down. All right, so what's up, everybody? Everybody, yeah, rock your body, yeah. yeah. So you don't have to. <laughs> what? No. Just so you guys know, I'm. I got a doctor's appointment. I got to run out to in just a second. So, Cujo may get extra coffee. Coffee. <sighs> Oh. Hit, that, I didn't lick you that time. That was Bowie. Mm. Um, so he may get a little hype. Hey, Julie. Also, hold this. Also, give it to me. Look at Bowie. What's that? Look right here. He. It's like they know when he's. <laughs> she's looking at him. <laughs> I know. They definitely know. He knows it. He knows. And then you have to like, you have to distract them. Where, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Um, I'm going to uh, check out two new colors and five new glitters. I don't know if I'll use the glitters, but I'll show them to y'all, to yuns, because they're some pretty crazy colors. Um, there's one that I might use just because it looks fun. Maybe two of them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna check out some new colors. Uh, two, all of these new uh, fun things are from Color Obsession. Oh, look at that. I got treats. What is it? Can you see it? He's like, I will eat that. Oh, right in your beard. <laughs> they smell like blueberry. I know, they smell amazing. Whoa, that looks great, doesn't it? Alright, so let's just uh, jump on into this. Um, new colors and new glitters. Check it out. Stay tuned. So, let's get a little closer here. Maybe you can sheet -ish. Hold on. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is distract him from... 
What? They should be right there. But <laughs> Bowie, why don't you see? He stops eating these things. <laughs> Nowhere? Mustafa. I don't, let me see. Hold on, guys. I gotta look for these keys. Other here. Jeez. Bowie. <laughs> okay, Hi. ready? Here, Bowie. Look what I got. Chewy Chewies. Here, look. <laughs> What's this? Look. Come here. Just eat this. I'm trying to distract him because she has to leave for a little bit. <laughs> Bowie. And then he's going to start ye yelling like a little banshee when he realizes that she's gone. <laughs> does it look too... Does this camera look too yellow? kind of does, doesn't it? This one looks kind of the same. There's so much light in here. It's hard to get all these cameras to look the same. Taco Tuesday. You know what's funny is we made chili. <laughs> let me um, let me pop this chat out here so I can move it to this side. So at least it looks like I'm looking at you guys while I'm talking to you. All right, here you go. Bowie, eat this. No? They smell good. I'm not going to eat it. I promise you I won't eat that, guys. <laughs> All right, so let me change the color on that. that. That drives me crazy. Overhead. It's not overhead. It's ethyl. I need to change the uh, settings to those guys. How does that look? That's not so yellow, right? Kind of tan color what it was. That's a little better. All right. Here, you want this now? Now that you know that she's gone? There you go. That's good. Oh, he dropped that on purpose. Here, you want this? Bowie. He's drawn. He's like... Do I want it? Do I want to see if mom's gone? Nope. You don't want that? Oh, boy. Hopefully he doesn't start crying. Because he will. Alright. So, how's everybody doing today? I need to tighten up these arms here. They're a little... Uh, A little flimsy. All right, so ooh, that does. Why do Why do I look like that? I turned. I look. I look orange, right? Yeah, he's gonna start whining. I don't want to turn the color down. Oh, there you go. That's a little better. All right. That's a little better. John just, yeah. <laughs> Bowie, come here. He's going to start whining. All right, so here we go. Put some gloves on. So we got some Thalo Blue. We only have a couple of these in stock because we're still waiting on another box. But I know that there's at least seven or eight of these uh, cappuccino 
Shimmer. It's hard to read. And I love both of those colors. I've I've seen I've only seen the uh, the blue just like out on something like she like just to see what it looked like. Um, but they're both really nice colors. I can't wait to mix them together. And I got some base white, so we'll see how that works. Um, and then here are the glitters. Do, 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 do. We have some peacock blue green glitter from the holographic collection, which is really nice. Got a little peacock blue rainbow effect going. I like that. This is what I love. I know Vamp will love these. Look at that. What is that? Black Panther is what she calls this. Holographic collection. Look how fun that is. Um, yeah, Swamped. We actually give CBD to... Uh, to Cujo as well uh, for his cough, for his heart condition, his throat. Um, but Bowie, I think we've tried. I think we give it to him when he gets his hair cut too, I think. I'm not sure. All right, so there's these. And now this is fun, but I'm just, I just don't know how I would use this. Like maybe to put it in clear and like for a figurine or something. I don't know. This is some pretty crazy color right here. This is series one, number 14, confetti collection. I don't know. I think you jewelry people can do something with this stuff. This will be fun. Um, and this is series one, number 16, confetti collection. So this is like super big confetti with then little confetti in it. Like it's all different sizes in here. I love this color. That's nice. And then we have a diamonds and sapphires diva collection, which is cowboys all the way it looks like. Vamp, did you just jump in? Did you see the black glitter? How fun is that? Oh, okay. All right, so... Um, we're gonna mix up some paint. I'm sorry, we're gonna mix up some resin. We'll be using some stone coat. I think we need to turn this one down too. That's a little bit, what would you say, jaundice? <laughs> I wanna make these just as equal. Let's see, what is this? This would be considered Lucy Cam. That's good. Turn the color up a little. That looks good. Mmm, kidoki. Oh, kidoki. If you like. Looks chunky. Yeah, it's pretty chunky. I mean, all this glitter, um, except for this, this diamonds and sapphires, it's, it's pretty fine. Um, I guess it would be considered chunky 
because they're pretty big pieces, but it's very nice. And there's a, it's mixed with very, very fine. Like this is just one big chunky. This is, it looks like there's about two different sizes, maybe three sizes in here. And this is the same. This is just straight up confetti like. Like there's one, two, yeah, there's about three different sizes in here. All right. We're gonna use some stone coat countertop art coat today. If you guys haven't used this stuff, it's amazing. And yeah, I said amazing. All right. So I don't think there's gonna, we'll need a lot, but I definitely want to see what it looks like. Maybe I'll make up just a little bit more and put them, uh, put it in our mold. We have a geode mold that we made. So let's just make, let's just make, um, what do we got, two? Let's just, we'll make eight ounces. I'm not sure if that'll be enough, but for the molds. But I know that. It's too much for this little round. And when mixing part uh, A into B, Pour it, let it set, because it fills up a little different than A. A is a lot thinner, so you don't want to put too much in there. And then it just fill up, and then you have to add more B, and then you might be off, so. All right, let's get a stick here and mix some colors up. So, how's everybody's day? We got a hidden message here. We can't say that in here, silly, silly person. Timer starts now. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. 218. So, if you guys don't know, this is uh, Stone Coat <clears throat> Countertops Art Coat Resin. Uh, it is a one to one mixing ratio by volume or weight i believe right is that what it says on there um it's got an amazing uv protectant um, there's no smell some people say they can smell it but i've i've never smelt it um it's got a 500 degree fahrenheit uh resistant up to 500 degrees fahrenheit Beautiful day in Maryland. Well, that's nice. It's very crappy here today. It's like Russian weather here. Like Russia weather. It's cold and rainy. There's Cujo. He's like, wait, um, did you see my mom by chance? <laughs> So I've been thinking, um, I think Shane said he wanted one and I'm pretty sure JJ said that he was down for one and I'm sure Vamp, one day if you guys want these. Um, I really want to make a, uh, a all black on black hoodie 
with all the labels. It'll be it'll be like a, a shiny black, almost like a metallic black. I th not shiny as in gold, but shiny like just obviously not matte uh, logos and and the uh, on the on the hood on the front and on the back. Um, just everything black. It says that it's metallic black, but there's not like a shine to it. And it's not like a metallic like you would see like in these pigments. Um, <clears throat> but it's uh, it's definitely you can see it on the black hoodie. You can actually still see the matte on the black hoodie, but with this metallic. Uh, you can see it even more, but it looks awesome. I think I'm going to make a couple of those uh, just for sale. If anything, I might put them on the website if they get enough. If they get enough. Um, well, I have, I have, I bought a couple extra blank hoodies, so I'll, I'll probably make one just to take a picture of one to, to show the people what it looks like. All right, I think we're good with this. What time is it? Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> All right. So I like to have a rag next to me with uh, just cover it in uh, alcohol so I can wipe my hands off so they're not sticky. I don't get everything else sticky. And let's do, I think we're gonna just do uh, we're going to grease the pan, and if you're new to resin, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please subscribe, please like, please share this channel. We appreciate it with all our heart. Um, we're going to grease the pan, which means we're just going to put a layer of resin down, just a real thin layer, so that um, it's a little easier to move the other resins around, and I don't want to put... I've already have, I already have a black background, so... Um, I'm not going to put black resin down. I'm just going to put black, I'm sorry, just clear resin. And we're going to mix this Thalo Blue by Color Obsession, um, some Cappuccino Shimmer by Color Obsession, and then we're just going to put a little uh, base coat, this uh, Passion Base Cell White by Color Passion. And we sell all this stuff on our website, if you guys don't know. All of it artisttilldeath.com all right so let's open this little guy here look at that that is a fun color right there I don't know where she put all my little stir sticks I brought so oh there they are I was say I brought so many out here so we could use them so we also sell um, reusable stir sticks on our website there are very small ones which you could see I love these kind because they don't knock over your your uh, your cup even when they're empty so let's do we're not gonna make very much so I'm just gonna put about that much on there but I guess we're gonna use some of these for the sorry about that you probably couldn't see that this is the thalo blue We're gonna fill a little bit over half, just to see how much that gets us. I'm sure that'll be plenty, though. Look at that. Um, I don't know if we can make that as a shirt. I don't know how we would do that.
Not not with uh, We could just get the logo and probably put it on a shirt, a vinyl shirt, like the heat transfer, but that would just be basically copying the logo and put it on. That's a nice color right there. That's a great blue. If you guys are looking for a blue, that is nice. I'm excited for this color. I, I love anything that's that's in the sand, uh, light cappuccino coffee colors. I cannot get this little lid off here. <coughs> That is sealed on there. Look at that. I might want to steer this up a little bit. Yeah, if you get colors that are shimmer and, and uh, or that are like metallic, I would stir them up a little bit because they, they've been sitting... Um, you know, still for a little bit, so it wouldn't hurt just to stir them up. This is a great color. It looks almost gold on, on there, but it's not too, it's not that gold. Why don't we just um, kick that person out? I just put I just took that person off here so thank you thank you vamp and JJ this is nice I can't wait to see this going with that we'll probably use more of this than the blue I'm sure. This would look so good with white and uh, like that sherbet color, champagne color, like for a marble. Man, that would look beautiful. Let's put a little bit more in there. I, this is, it's. I, I wouldn't say that it's transparent, but it's, it's pretty. I mean, you could tell on here that you could see through that cap. Let's mix it up a little more. Let's see why. I'm going to put quite a bit in there. Right, that should be good. Especially if you're going to do geodes with this stuff. Alright, let's mix up some white. Let me, let me fix this. This is a little bit too um, orange as well, it looks like. Maybe I, it just looks like I'm that way. <laughs> Julie asks, can the just resin pigment paste be used for acrylic painting also? Um, I was actually gonna try to do that, Julie. I don't think you could paint with it, but I was gonna try to 
paint like a portrait, just a simple portrait, and then pour resin over it and see if it dries like that. Who knows? Um, but I, I don't know. I don't think you can. I don't know. I actually don't know. I mean, I hope that's what you meant, because other than that, I don't know what you would mean by use for acrylic painting. I mean, these are all, these are, these, if you set these out, they don't dry. Mixed with pouring medium. Uh, no, because the pouring medium is water-based. I don't know why you would want to do that. Like you, this is already for that. Like you put it in resin. With acrylic, acrylic is just bad to put in resin because it doesn't act well with it because it's water-based. But no, we went from acrylic pouring to this because it's just, you waste so much acrylic paint and then you're just putting resin on top of it. And then sometimes it doesn't work because you use silicones and additives and Floetrol and stuff that doesn't mix well with resin. So you get pits and fish eye and it just, it's too much hassle. Um, and this just looks amazing and it's way better products. All right, let's make some white. And with this white, as you guys know, you don't need a lot at all. Um, I'm just trying to make it to where these guys sell together. Um, and I'm only gonna mix a little, kind of like those those two there. What do we got there? We'll probably get a little bit more than that. Because if you mix too much, then your cells won't stay nice and bloomy. So I think we've got plenty for the uh, flood coat here. I'm sorry, greasing the pan. Bowie, you want your snacks? Cloth. You want your snack? Here. <laughs> All right, so this should be good. And I got some coasters over here I can pour on as well. So, All right, let's put some, let's, we're going to put our little thin coat down. Because you don't want to put a lot because you're going to be putting resin down on here. So let's just put a little bit. So we can just, like we say, grease the pan. Because I know I'll be doing a super tilt. Can't go wrong with a super tilt. All right. There's that. Not reset password. Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, you can, but you just really have to be careful how much uh, acrylic paint you put in resin. Because if you put a little bit too much, it, it for some reason it activates the resin to heat up, and then it really gets uh, you. It, you waste resin that way because it'll heat up and you can't use it or it'll turn to marshmallow fluff and then it's just unusable as well um you can i would just get a little bit better quality uh, acrylic paints the better the quality the vibrant um but you'll never get you'll never get the vi the vibrant the vibranticity. <laughs> Did I just make a word up? Um, you'll, it'll never be as vibrant as paste or these tints or the powders that, that we use. All right. So we want to put the white down first because I think we're going to do a uh, 
I want to do a swipe and then a tilt. So we'll do the old uh, Pepsi. I've got a piece of hair in my mouth. All right, so we're just gonna do, we'll just do a, a line like this, the yin yang. And if you want, you can draw it in your resin. How does that look? Does that look about even? Bowie well, he thinks he's, he hears something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put half about as much as on there as I did that. There. That's probably too much. All right, let's give it some heat. I probably put way too much white down. I'm going to blow on this. Look how fun that is. And then we'll swipe this side. We're gonna, we'll swipe from here. Pull that over the blue. Super tilt this side down. I'm going to bring it all the way down. I like how that swipe turned out though. That's pretty cool. You could do this to kind of speed up your your tilt. Give it some motion. That is super fun. That blue really takes over though, doesn't it? up way too much and that cappuccino is super light yeah that blue really takes over doesn't it but the good thing about this cappuccino is it goes underneath the blue and it gives it a shimmer. Let's mix this stuff together. Let's mix, we're gonna mix a little bit of this and then we'll put a little blue in there and see what that looks like. Yeah, we made way too much blue. a nice it's like a nice shark blue wow yeah that blue is just way taken over
I'm gonna tilt this off right here. You probably want to use this blue with other blues, not with, <laughs> not with uh, cappuccino. That's for sure. Unless you want to mix it. You know what we could do is try to make a a nice light cappuccino marble with that. I'm gonna go put this in the dust free zone. Get some posters. So if I have any questions or comments or announcements, all right. So let's do. What's up, Bowie Pants? You could sit up there with the kitty cat. Let's try to make a, a nice marble with this. We have some more clear. Oh, Bowie, he's so pitiful. His mom leaves and now it's like, oh, dad, now I want to hang out with you. Just be still, you can just hang out right there. My hands are all sticky. I apologize, can't pick you up right now. I'm gonna make this nice and opaque <laughs> Judy always got on to me about putting way too much pigment in uh, <laughs> in the uh, resin uh NWA, I believe it's the uh, the color passion, the black color passion base. That's what I should have used. I should have used black on that. All right, so let's put some white down. We're gonna we're gonna do a couple couple marble. Let's make some marble coasters with this, and I want to use this shark blue that I made with this, with the, uh, with the cappuccino and the, and the phthalo. I bet you could put red in that phthalo and it would turn out amazing purple. I actually have some red. We're gonna, we're gonna try that. I got some just resin red sitting over here. All right. And remember, you don't need a lot when you put down a base for marble because you're put you're adding resin. So unless you want it to flow over the edges, find its way off. Don't don't put don't put so much on. You can always put you can always put some on, but you can't take it off unless you tilt it off, <laughs> and then you might ruin the 
your uh, your effects that you like. I'm just getting these sides. Gypsy J, we don't do any prep to our boards. They're already really smooth. Um, all we do is just uh, either paint them white or black or you could spray paint them, but spray paint kind of soaks into that, to the MDF. Um, don't sand your board because once you, if you sand it, it gets fuzzy for some reason and then you it's You'll have trash in your resin. You'll have to do a flood coat. It's, it's not fun. Um, but what we do is just paint it with uh, a white, uh, what is that, PPG. It's called Dead Flat Interior House Paint. It's, it's just a, a flat white. Well, thank you, Tricia. All right, I'm going to put this blue on first. And we're just going to make some really thin veins. I don't like this uh, stir stick. This is why I love our stir sticks, because you can just wipe that color off that you've just used and reuse it. Now, I'm going to try to really blend this color in with this so that it'll look kind of marbly. Heat it up. Which is probably way too much. Maybe you can. Tilt it, give it some motion. I put way too much blue in that. We're gonna make some blue marble with this one. <laughs> Let's just, we'll just leave this one. Let's put some blue in that. We'll just put the regular blue in there. That's probably way too much as well. That's super fun. like that all right let's check this out all right so we're we're gonna just do the cappuccino in this we're not gonna put any of that color down because this cappuccino is super just so light we want this to be the main focus of this coaster here Um, I believe we will have a Black Friday sale. I I'm not sure what. I'm not sure how much. But uh, we have been talking about it. So um, I'm just not sure what we're going to be doing. I don't know if we'll do it on Friday. Because everybody's going to be just buying stuff on Amazon. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to Erica. I think we're definitely going to do a live, though. Just something fun. 
just in case. I know a lot of people aren't leaving town. Um, people are staying home, and, and, and there's always next year. You guys be safe, be smart. All right, let's just put a little bit down on here. That looks fun. I wish that would stay. I've never used resin before. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. Tomorrow's gonna come. Just remember that tomorrow's gonna come and tomorrow it's gonna be set up. And if you don't like it, you can sand it and pour right over that. Don't be nervous at all. I think you needed something a little bit more dark to, to do this with. Yeah, this stuff just kind of this color is so light and so classy, like, you really... Like, look how classy that is. Just that right there just looks fun. Turn that down a little bit. It looks like there's a lot of light in here, and you guys, I, I don't have, I mean, I have the lights on, but they're like super low. I, I wanna say that it's just because I have this turned up a little bit too high. That's pretty good right there. Yeah, shades, just just mix a little bit. Do some coasters. Do like two colors. Three maybe tops. Um, you'll be surprised. You'll, you'll have fun with it. Um, and if you want, take notes. Take notes so you remember what you've done. You know, everything be meticulous if you want just so that you remember how you've done it or record it just put your phone on record what you've done and if you like it just go back rem you know take notes on that and do your thing don't be nervous there's nothing nervous like somebody said being scared or nervous about something is something that hasn't even happened yet so you're wasting your time like, just, just think about that. These are super nice right here. I like these. Now, I'm going to put just the cappuccino. Look how fun that one looks. That's super nice. I'm gonna put the cappuccino on here. Look at that, it just blends in with this. With the MDF board. All right, 
And now I'm going to do something fun. We are going to do white. We're going to do a ring pour with this. There's not a lot in here, so. This should be fun. But every time I think colors should be fun, they never turn out. <laughs> but now that you know, if you mix a little bit of this blue into this cappuccino, it makes an amazing color. Super chill, super chill. Oh, it looks kind of like a fossil. This is just kind of a classy looking toaster. <laughs> That didn't do anything. All these colors are so light that it just kind of smushed together. And remember, doing a super tilt, don't tilt too much because uh, you'll get those dried up edges and you don't want to do that. And then you'll just have to do a flood coat over them unless you want to. Well, don't mix the colors unless you want to make a nice shark blue. <laughs> and it's probably because I put that grease, grease the pan color down. See what we can do with let's just do a blue one we got a lot of blue lots and lots of blue I feel like Bob Ross when I repeat myself. The spirit of old Bob Ross. Dirty pour is one at a time. Not one piece all in a cup. No, dirty pour is when you pour all your colors in one cup and then pour it out. Let's just see what this looks like. We're gonna put the, the 
the champagne a little white over that I don't think that's going to work but we'll see let's do a swipe on that one I'm just going to swipe all the way through it. This blue just takes over. It's a great blue, but boy, it takes over. I think I just probably put too much in there. You definitely, if you're gonna use these colors, you just want a barely, just a little bit of that blue. No bueno. Coaster, and what I can do, let me think here. I want to do oh, yeah, I want to put some of this red into there. This just resin red, we're gonna put some in the cup. We're just going to put a little bit because you know this stuff. We're going to put some blue in here and then we're going to put um, some clear because I think I just put too much blue in there. Thin it out just a little bit. Still very nice. All right. Let's wipe this off and we're going to get we're going to use some red. See, just wipe this stick off and some alcohol. We're gonna put some red in there. Ooh, this almost looks orange on there. And I turned down some of that color too. This is just like a maroon. I don't know if this is a purple. That's more like... <laughs> is it getting there or did I just put too much? I think I put too much red in there. I wonder if phthalo blue, it doesn't, like, if it's a green tone, doesn't work good with red. It doesn't make a good purple. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is like a maroon, like a dark maroon. Ooh, that's almost like a coffee brown. That looks crazy. I figured it would turn purple. Okay, guys. Bowie. 
such a guard dog. Sorry I'm not reading too much, y'all. I'm just experimenting over here, having fun. All right, let's put a little bit of this down. Look at that, I just put a drop in there. Just the smidge. See what Super Tilt does. See, this is what happens when you leave me alone with resin. Like you can't even see that color in there. You figured it would mix in with the white. All right, I lied. I have a couple more coasters, so let's see what. <laughs> I didn't know we had these over here. We got an ATD coaster. All right, what should we do? Let's do half and half and just see if that white We'll do something with this blue and this maroon color. We need you alone more often. <laughs> That's cute. Pepsi challenge. I think I put too much heat down. Oh, that's on top. You guys, I did it backwards. So there you go. I put the white on top of the color. It should be underneath the color. I did it in reverse. Yeah. 
Any recommendations on a cup turner? Oh, I you have to ask uh, the fam about that. I I have no clue about cup turners. Well, we have two good coasters. I would say the blue and the uh, white and cappuccino. This might be fun later. This might be fun later. Putting red into that blue does not make it purple. Unless I just put way too much red in there. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Two awesome colors. Just don't mix them together unless you want a really nice sharp blue. <laughs> that cappuccino won't stay in stock. We only have a couple, so I would definitely go buy that cappuccino. Um, the blue, we've got a couple, but not, I mean, I think a couple means eight, I think, six or seven. I'm not sure, but I, I have started doing this. That's crazy. It's already melted. I'm putting this clear stuff, or not clear, but my extra resin in a pot so that um, if somebody wants to turn it, I'll send it to them. Hopefully it just kind of stays the way it does, you know? Because that would be super cool. Like stays the way you pour it in here, especially since I put the clear. It should be interesting when it's full. We normally put them in... Uh, little uh molds and make stuff but i've been wanting to do this we'll see how this turns out as long as i don't mix it i think it'll be fine like the way it stays I don't know. We'll know when when somebody turns it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to clean these sticks off. Take these coasters to the DFZ. A okay. I just kind of put this mold off that thing off to the side and forget about it. All right, I'll take these to the dust free zone. I'll be right back.
the DFC. Um, oh, and I think we're going to do a video on our dust-free zone. We have a video of how we made it, but I think I want to do one on how you resurface it. Like how, how we'll do it, if anybody's interested. I'm not sure what, uh, what people out there want to see these days. Um, but we'll see. It might just be a, a day we don't go live and just make a video of it. All right, and that's it. That's, that's, the, that's the show for the day. You guys talking amongst yourself nicely and whatnot? <laughs> you guys, so I tried to make these a square, okay? Just a, a square. And I literally couldn't even make a square with two by fours. I have no idea how they got so crooked, how they're cut just a little wonky. No, I think it's because I cut it with a, a handsaw because my jigsaw blade wasn't the right type of blade for it. It kept kicking back on me. <laughs> Gypsy J, what's the highest quantity of coasters do you carry? The highest quantity? I mean, however, however many you need, I mean, we can cut. I we make them so Bowie. We make them so um, it just it just takes a little time because I have to go to uh, maker space uh, and that's about twenty five minutes away and it's on the busiest highway here in Dallas um, so I have to go either before traffic or stay until after traffic. Um, and then that's, that's like the, the second issue I have, the, 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 the very first issue is the availability of the laser because I go to a place called makers and if nobody's on the laser, they have about three or four lasers, but only two of them normally work. And there's one that works. I don't know how to use that one, but it's smaller. So I really don't need it because I, the, sh the sheets that we use are big pieces of uh, cast acrylic so um, and it takes a while to cut them and you can only be on there three hours at a time if there's people waiting um, unless I have something else to do I can let somebody use the laser and cut them you know in between that or whatever but yeah I can we can uh, we can cut a lot it's just getting the time to do that and me going to makers I've, I've spent 12 hour days there and that was before I got a, a uh, <laughs> that was before I got a, a vinyl cutter myself uh, because they have a vinyl cutter there but they have a full-on wood shop so literally you guys I think I'm just gonna <laughs> when I go we have to go and make the uh, your guys class geodes um, the uh, the geodes for the class are going to be 13 inches and they're going to be uh, they'll be one of a kind you can't get them on our website they'll only be for the class um, they'll be 13 inch geodes and they'll be a little bit more rounded with a little bit more space to put uh, to put uh, your pigments or your crystals or you know whatever you're gonna she's gonna have you guys do um, but yeah, they'll be one of a kind geo. Kind of kind of excited about those. Can someone try to sign in? Let me know. What's wrong with it? What's wrong, Vamp? Yeah, Bowie's just sitting there waiting for his mom to come home. Gypsy, what, uh, what, how many are you looking for? What do you, what do you want? We have, 
Um, we have, what is it? Two, two shapes in the MDF, which I don't make those. Um, but in the cast acrylic, we have uh, round, square, hexagon, and the geode shapes that I can cut. What's up, Shane? Shane, I think I'm gonna put together a, uh, a all black on black hoodie. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to say for the black on black hoodie, I bought a bunch of extra hoodie strings, but they're different colors. Um, so what I would love to do is do a black on everything black on black except for the string and then I have I can get I put some on mine and I, I like them they're little metal clamps that go on the end that you screw on they're kind of they're a little expensive but they're worth it so these black on black hoodies will be a little bit more than our normal hoodies plus I'm making them they're like handmade so uh, just like our other hoodies, I make them. <laughs> and there does, uh, luckily a lot of people don't buy them at a, at a, you know, a lot at a time because it takes so much time to weed that out. Um, if it gets to a point where I'm gonna have to buy iron-ons, I'm, I'm gonna do it because it takes so long for, for me to cut the backs of those and to weed them out for the girls and the guys. But um, I'll probably and probably her and count one hoodie. What? I call for I claim first one. <laughs> I didn't see your other part of your comment, Gypsy J. Let me look up here. And what is the highest quantity you carry? That's all. That's all I've seen. That's all I could see. Probably fifty-ish. Oh yeah, we sell them. We we sell them by twenty-five and fifty, I believe. We have two, we have three different designs of the, uh, of the hoodies. It's a, a hers and a his skull. The his has a little mustache, which I think is super cool. Um, the, uh, the hers has a little bow and eyelashes on the skull and a different font. The his has like old English, hers has our uh, our kind of a it's like a negative space font but the black on black it's gonna be it's a little more detailed it's like literally like this will just be like a one-of-a-kind hoodie um, it'll be the ATD skull with crossbones with I'm, I'm thinking I'll show you the design So, it's the ATD skull. You can see that with the crossbones, with the with the uh, old English lettering. Or this is kind of hard to see as well. It has like a chain around it with like these little feathers. With. Uh, cursive writing. I think this one would look amazing. Black on black. Can you guys see that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but then the front, it'll have the, uh, I'm thinking about putting this, the ATD on the front here, and then the B on the, on the, uh, the hoodie part. Maybe. I really want to redesign the B. The B is too plain for me. It 
Thank you, Julie. Well, come here. I know. You miss your mama. It's so cute. He kind of jumps to get in my arms. <laughs> um, yeah, let me, um, let me make one, you guys. And uh, I'll take a picture of it, post it on ATD's Poor People. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that is uh, right there. Doink, doink, doink. Right down there in uh, our Facebook group. And this is Bowie. This is our little pom-pom. Cujo's somewhere running around. He's also a pom, but half this size. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let me let me take a picture of that and put in ATD's Poor People. Just if you go to if you go to Facebook, put in ATD's Poor People apostrophe S, and uh, answer the question, and you'll be let right in. Nice to see y'all. Thanks for the amazing colors. Well, thank you, 77. Thank you for for commenting and joining. We appreciate that. Um, so yeah, ATD's poor people. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, Instagram is just kind of a little, little other behind the scenes sometimes of, of what we do. Um, and normally we post... Uh, True color videos on there as well. So check us out on that. Ooh, nope, don't lick me. I've got alcohol on me. He's just a licker. How much longer will the fire kit? It should be available now. I think she just, she always, she always keeps them available um, on the website so people can, uh, can get them. And then they could just go back and watch the video if they like. Um, or if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one class, she does. She also does that. Oh, sorry, Bowie. Um, I'm not sure what she charges for those, but I know that she does those for Zoom. Um, and then we do have a class coming up. Our first class uh, in Florida, Bradenton, Florida, in 2021, January 16th and 17th. All skill levels welcome. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do the, the, the second one. So, yeah. So, um, awesome. You guys have been awesome. How do I still have another... I think I just have it somewhere over here. That's why I don't want you to get on this table, Bowie. I don't want you to get resin on you. It's sticky. It gets all sticky up here. So... If you guys have any other questions, um, I hope um, we can answer them in the comments if you just leave them down there. Tina, got to get up, came back to see Jeff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a large barking beard. It's a travel ban. What is, what's PA? We'll see you, Emmanuel. Is that Pennsylvania? I don't know. <laughs> I want to try and book the class with you in January 1st at your place. Yeah, we'll have to see about um, that, Mary Jane. You'll just have to contact Erica for that, for a personal class on that time. Hey, it's getting hot. Are you getting hot? It's too hot? Here, here's your little treat. Oh, yeah, now I'll eat it. Thank you, Jude. Um, not Arizona anytime soon. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Awesome. Um, we're going Florida, and then we'll go from there. We'll see how we'll see how everybody's uh, places are with the uh, the COVID situation. And I know a lot of people are. You gotta chew that, Bowie. Um, a lot of places are doing lockdowns again, so we'll have to see. 
come to Cali. Yeah, we, we, we've got to go a lot of places. We, Oh and I think that's just Amazon. So I'm going to go check that, quiet these guys out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, check out our website. We sell all the products that we I used on here today on artisttilldeath.com. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. And remember, we do the test so you don't have to. I need to come up with a better way to say that. I think I need like a little... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. We'll see you later. Thank you.